Hey YouTube, this is Charlie. Um, today we're gonna be looking at the uh, the Canon R500. It's, it's it's a it's a camcorder. Uh, I basically buying this to to make my some of my YouTube videos. This is gonna be recorded in 1080p. If we turn the box around here at the bottom here, I hope you can see it right up here. 1080p, um, 1920 by 1080 recording. I'm recording um, MP4. A lot of the specs are gonna be honest with you. I don't know much about the specs. The main thing I was looking for in this is that I was gonna get 1080p recording, um, 60 frames a second and up. So this camera, this camera is giving me that, and I can tell you some of the things that I like on here from the get go. Okay, what's in the box? In the box, we're gonna have the, the camcorder. As a matter of fact, let's just unbox this, and then you can see directly what's in there so let's let's do the quickest unboxing that you've seen ever unbox so that's what comes in the box your your battery the battery, the battery is pretty pretty the battery is pretty small it's um for its it is size it is it put it protrude a lot at the back when i compare it with the other um cameras around from for say samsung and and um and the other data manufacturers what I didn't like about the other ones that were looking really nice, they were in a case at the back here, and they look a lot better than this. But they, there's a, there's a few reasons why I choose that camera over the other cameras, over Samsung or over um, the, 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 the other guys. And it's one of the reasons is basically because this is touch screen, and that's what I like about, about this. This is touch screen, and also the other cameras, the 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 um the SD card that goes in there a lot of the other camcorders they starting to use mini SD cards and I am kind of not really a fan of I I have a lot of the bigger SD card lying around so I don't want to change to mini SD card yet so that's one of the reasons and the and the mini SD card I think is a little more expensive too I think I'm not too sure but then I wanted to I wanted to stay with the the bigger SD card so I went with that and the other reason is is because of the mic I I wanted to try and start using my mic i have a mic that i that i should use and you also have a headphone right here and and those two things here especially the mic the other camcorders that i look at to compare it with which had a better price than this this by the way at best buy and some other places you're gonna get for around 20 bucks 20 dollars right now um you can get something um similar to that same specs basically same specs with that recording 1080p you can get something like that for below 150 but the only difference is you're not going to have touch screen and i'm pretty sure from what i've seen in there even the more expensive one some of them do, do, doesn't carry the mic in there and i and i need to have that mic for some reason here you have your on and off button here here you have your play button and these here are not really buttons they just i guess some kind of soft rubber protection there so when the screen wouldn't hit on there so that's where your your battery would go um when you're charging that's where you'll see the light coming on right here the access light is right here this is your zoom right here so you'll be your hands will be here and you'll be moving like this so this is your zoom right here um you also have your shutter right here will be it's manual which is which is cool um you have your area here for you to to screw onto your tripod and right here you have your battery release button right here which we're going to put on right here that's your record button right above here so that's it's a really compact and small i have to tell you it's really light i, I i'm gonna it's really just trust me it's really light it's it's a lot lighter than than my cell phone so <laughs> that's that should be good enough um so again the LCD on that, the LCD on that is a you're gonna get a, a three inch touch LCD screen. Digital, on there. digital zoom, you have um 1060. Um this is really good for well that's what it says on the box. So this is really good for night recording. Um you have your built-in light, manual focus, um the video resolution is 3.2, digital steel is 2.0, and you have a oh it's a mini. You have a mini HDMI right here at the end here, and you have a regular HDMI. So the mini HDMI goes right in here, and you plug this right into your into your um into your TV. 
um, the DC cable right here, 5.3 volts or 1.5 amps on there. And you have your rechargeable battery. And to charge the battery, you're going to have to put it in there. I'm pretty sure they have cradles that they sell that you can buy extra cradle and extra, extra battery. But the, the battery will have to go in there and you'll have to charge it. And that's basically it. It's um, it's kind of, it, it gets kind of fingerprint magnet on there. It's a, it's kind of a fingerprint magnet. Most camcorders comes with that kind of, you know, that kind of um, surface. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's put those cables on the side. Hopefully there's some juice in there. And you just push this in and it's in. And you see what I was talking about, how the battery looks like it's protruding at the back. The other camcorders look like it's the battery is part of the part of the body. And some of them go, I, I saw, I think, a Samsung in there. And the Samsung actually has the battery goes inside the, inside the body. But is that a problem? I don't think it is. It's not going to be for me. Um, I really went for the Samsung, for, for the Canon, because I kind of, most of my cameras I have is really Canon. I, I kind of trust Canon. They haven't done me wrong. So that's one of the reasons I like going. So this is it. Canon. It's pretty it's like small. You can see. You can see how small it is. Right here. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty small camcorder, as you can see. And so when you open, it will come on. So we have some charge in here. So let's turn this up there like this. So you can see right here, it's it's one thing. I'm gonna bring my camera down a bit and it's gonna bring it down. You guys can see that. So right now you can see it's the battery is really low. So it's English, so I think that's we click here. We're gonna set maintenance. So that should be correct here, and we can just hit OK and we can hit go and yeah it's it asking you um, movie ideas playback web from computer or smartphone and what is this one ideal for playback or HD TV compatible with them I'm gonna go with mp4 it's it, I think it's a smaller format I'm not too sure about that but I'm gonna go with mp4 because I know um, setup is complete blah 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 so we touch and check where the open the close. So we go on the side here and we open the lens. And at this time, here we are asking for SD card. So we're gonna so right here we can I'm gonna turn this off a bit. Like this. So right here we can zoom in. And zoom out and you can see I'm recording around the room well I'm not recording but I'm just showing you the video is my Samsung gear VR right here and this is the record button right on the side here so you press and you say no, no memory card so we're gonna find a memory card and we'll try this baby out yeah so I was having some difficulty in, in getting the SD card to work in there and then I, oh, you know, like I, like I should have, I went back and I was reading, I was reading um, about how to install the memory card, and they, and they were telling you that you can conventionally use, you can use um, SD, SDHC, and SDX. So what I did, card, what I, did I, I have a, I went and I got a, a 32, a 32 gig, and that's a SDHC one. So that's a HDHC. So that's one of those that they did mention in there is a HDHC. This one there, which is a regular a regular one that I pick up. I, I guess I pick up those as a two pack together at probably Walgreens or somewhere. And this is just a SD card. This is just SD. So I guess there's a difference in a SD2 and a SD2 here. So let's just go ahead and um, like I showed you a while ago, it goes at an angle. You're going to put this in right in here. You're going to close your door and you're basically going to turn it on so it's on it's going to pop on and when it comes on it's going to give you that, that message right here and basically it tells you sd one hour so it, there's, there's, it, it remain one hour and 56 minutes of recording because my daughter was recording a while ago and 
I guess she views some space on there. So if I was to go ahead and click the record button, now I can be recorded. And what I like about this is unlike my unlike my power shot, which is what I normally use to make my YouTube videos, um, you cannot have the power the power supply in there charging while you're recording. I, I like this. Uh, I love that they, they again image stabilizer. This is one of my top things. I love this because sometimes I want to hold the camera and it moves or whatever. Or I touch it and it shakes, and you just want that things to stay straight, you know. So here we are recording here right now. So you can see this is my this is this is nice. I'm gonna put this desk. footage in in the in the video so you can see the clarity. So here we are recording here right now. So. You can see this is my this is this is night time at my desk, and you can see. Uh, let's try to zoom on there. You can zoom in. It's pretty good on there. You can zoom. see how it's going to focus right now. So right here, you can see. I can move in there on my security camera here. I can go up, and this is my Samsung Gear VR right oh. here. So this is where. It's gonna be right now. I'm at the same height with my with my the camera that I'm the cam that I'm I'm videoing right now. And this is this is what I'm, I'm this is what I'm really, really I'm using right now to record. Right here, this is my Logitech 920. I think it is right here. And you watch my you watch my other video and my review. You will see I did review it a few weeks ago. Right here and. If we go right on my computer, you can see right here I can be looking. This is what I like about about this this Logitech web or I'm webcam is that the software allow you. I have control of this right here, so you're watching like this. This is what you're watching right now, and this is. Again, this is the Vixer HFR 500 from Canon. Come call it tomorrow. I'll, I'm gonna go out and take some take some videos of of outside. And, and I'll make some test videos and I'll post for you guys. This is Charlie. I'm out.